How's it going, friends? Welcome to the Twin Cities. This is a show where we tell the stories of the people that we've helped move to the Twin Cities from all over the country, all over the planet, all over the world. And in hopes of these stories from the perspectives of the folks who have actually made the moves being helpful to you, somebody you know, or somebody who's in a similar situation. I'm your host, Jesse Lynch. I run a real estate team. And my co-host, Steve Wilk, Hello. is on the real estate team. And we are here with Emily and Joey, our first guests on this podcast. Thanks so much for being here, you two. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. And, uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. uh, we'll get the rhythms here in yeah. a minute. Don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, we, I guess first things, if you're new to this podcast or this show, I don't know, we don't even we don't know what we're doing yet. Whatever this is, if you're new to this, subscribe to this channel, click the bell to get notified, and leave a comment of some sort. If you have any other questions that you think would be helpful that we would ask, we'd love for you to include that. And I don't know, give the video a thumbs up, say hey to Emily and Joey. Say something funny to Emily and Joey, but nice. Met definitely <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it nice. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it nice out there, internet. Your humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll uh, go in the yeah. comments after. <laughs> You're just like, like I don't know eh, if this yeah, is funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the, thanks for diving in. Uh, thanks for joining us. I think we're going to probably have some growing pains with some of these questions, but hopefully you all can have some feedback for what is, uh, I don't know, ultimately what's helpful. Yeah, interesting to talk about, interesting to you. Yeah, we realize that we're in a like, you know, as much as we talk to the people that we help, we're in like a little bit of an echo chamber of, of like the perspectives, you know, it's like we right. are on this side of it all the time. And yeah, there's things that we don't totally you know, know necessarily. So for sure. Yeah. One of the goals about this whole thing is for us to get better at what we do. Yeah. In addition to helping people who are in a situation that you guys were in a few years ago before you made the move here. Yeah. So I guess let's go back to before you moved here, before you were even thinking about moving here however long ago that was uh wh where were you living what were you doing like, right before it you don't have to go back to like when you were born but like yeah. right before you were here <laughs> um we were living in los angeles and it was the pan pandemic high, high pandemic yeah. peak, pandemic peak pandemic times thank you um and my job had gone remote and we were living in a one bedroom one bath apartment if we want to be specific yeah please and, um, 450 square feet yeah about 450 square feet Dang. and that's like that room yeah um <laughs> it was uh it was small but we made it work when i wasn't working from ho home uh, and then it was kind of like my office was the living room and then joey was working at a grocery store during that time and <laughs> Side well, no, you 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 uh, pause. Oh, well, I didn't know what you wanted me to say. Keep it anonymous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he really never had any alone time, and I was home all the time yeah. because it was the pandemic. And um, we just started thinking or looking up into whether or not we wanted to move into a two-bedroom apartment or house or something like that in LA. Or so yeah, the thing about our. 450 square foot apartment is that it was a really good deal for where we were or <laughs> LA at all like we had uh, laundry in the unit we had parking washer dryer oh you already said that I said laundry <laughs> we had laundry there. and we had a person doing our laundry <laughs> and a washer and a dryer um, yeah so it was like anything we would oh, like a patio oh and an outdoor space it was nice yeah on the there Silver Lake Reservoir problems. But it got to a point where, <laughs> where we were like, okay, we have to move and we have to decide whether it's going to be. And an upgrade would be like so much money because of how good our deal was, like in LA at least. Yeah. Was it rent controlled or anything? It, it was, yeah. Okay. So it, like, it could only go up 3% or something. Yeah. So you kind of locked in, where, but then to make a change, you feel a little bit locked in sometimes? Or, or well, it was more like. Like, if we were going to get another bedroom, it, it would be, like, almost same. double. It yeah. ended up being that us moving to Minneapolis, our mortgage right now costs the, same, the same or less, probably less, definitely less. Oh, oh le less than, than, than what we would. Than it would for oh, us yeah, to have a two-bedroom apartment Crazy. in our It's apartment. only barely more than what we were paying in rent. Not an uncommon, like, theme. But also, you kind of came at a good time, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Uh, but, 
Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty wild. The like, what was the what was the neighborhood like? You know, like I mean, you can say the actual neighborhood, or you can just say like you can just describe it however you want to do it. Okay, yeah. we lived in Silver Lake. Okay. Uh, which is a really, I, I really like it. Um, yeah. You know, there's a big reservoir where we were really close to like a bunch of walking trails and a dog park <clears throat> and restaurants and yeah. shopping and, you know, a pretty. An unnamed grocery store. Bustling <laughs> part of town. <laughs> An unnamed grocery yeah, store. Yeah, no, it was, but it's like a little, like, uh, it was maybe the hot spot to live for like artists in LA and like. 2005 or whatever so <laughs> it's like expensive really now yeah i seem, all, all I seem to recall there was like a visco filter called silver lake which is very, <laughs> oh, probably which is very it's in some it's referenced in some songs like death cab oh yeah, yeah, yeah no big deal but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's pretty cool um, if anyone owned a house in our neighborhood and a lot of people did they were all a million Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> a million, two million, three million dollar homes. Even yeah. if, like, they actually sold our apartment, which was a duplex with a back unit, so uh, a studio and then two one bed, one bath, and they sold it for like one point four million dollars after we moved. So and we definitely had was, termites. Yeah. Roaches. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. buying was not like a realistic option where you were. No. No. Or, it was like, or even, yeah, renting. Like, I think yeah. 750K is like an entry level. Sure. Yeah. Or was at that time entry level amount to, even, to where we lived. To be not with what in the, the amount, amount of money we made. Right. And that yeah. would be like a fixer upper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Because, yeah, that's like, you know, that's upper echelon here. That's like mm-hmm. a different. Yeah. zone of the market here you know it's like things start to behave differently at that that's price. like a uh, house along one of the lakes or something yeah yeah i mean or at least really close you know, <laughs> yeah, in those neighborhoods to, yeah lake harriet or yeah did you like the lifestyle at least aside from the house? well it, it so we lived there for like three years and half of it was pre-covid like more than- no it was pretty much i think okay. three years and then half of it was like during COVID, so it was really we really enjoyed it. Yeah, um, I was like pursuing you know some stuff in the entertainment inter- industry. Yeah, um, and it was fun. And then once COVID happened, I kind of like didn't know what to do. Yeah. Um, there were like lockdowns yeah. in in our neighborhood. I don't know what what it was like here, um, but there were, but not. I don't. I, my understanding it was, is it wasn't to the same extent. You know? Right. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. was for like. When we came here and like at the end of twenty twenty one, we was, came like people were Halloween like not wearing masks generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. in LA, it was still yeah. Like I will say, when we were like helping people at that time, I I often didn't know what the move was. Yeah. for people who are coming from different places because <clears> they are they might have been like a little bit shocked by like that it wasn't as much of a thing here at a, by a certain point. You yeah. know. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was definitely like, how would you like for me to proceed, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. That, that's cool. I think the, you know, you enjoy the lifestyle for a little bit. Yeah, for, and for, then it kind of went yeah. away. I, maybe just answer the question again, which is what was the impetus to move from there? I feel like a crazy person when people ask me why I moved here because I well, don't. Well, no, he was asking from there. Oh, from there. Yeah. Why we left? Well, or, or why or, we moved or here. Or here. Whatever. To, yeah. We'll get to why you moved here. So oh. this is like, yeah. Okay. It's it's mostly just yeah. The so you mentioned the size, the potential <laughs> of like upgrading uh, would be. Yeah, we felt like more financially not that we couldn't afford it than we did the two years or three years before. It's just like... When we moved there first. Yeah. It's definitely more of a struggle financially to live somewhere like that. And then, like, with the pandemic, I personally felt like I was surrounded by a lot of people with a lot more... Money. Wealth yep. than I have. And it was, like, a not, you know... Yeah. It just changed you my perspective. feel jaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I get that. Yeah. I, definitely so, I mean, so, yeah. the you know, At some point, it's like... You moved to here, but at some point before moving, you know, deciding to move to here, you decided to consider moving from where you were. Yeah. And that was kind of the, the reasons of just like... Yeah, and like the benefit of living there, which was like... I mean, now it's it's back, sure. you know. But like, access to those things. Yeah, like you could go to like a 
a comedy show for like ten dollars and it's like all these people you see on tv yeah and it's like that's really cool but yeah. that wasn't happening for like two three years <laughs> right, right. Sure. yeah a long so time. so yeah when you were you decided that you wanted to make a move were there other potential cities that you were considering i don't i mean i feel like probably at first we I, we didn't go anywhere else we didn't go anywhere <laughs> else what we kind of well, we kind of did a process of elimination of like, okay, we're both from the East Coast um, and we weren't necessarily ready, I don't think yet, or we weren't like really strongly pulled to move back to the East Coast because we had just made a pretty this big move. This is a podcast move. we won't show to our parents, is that we? <laughs> so we don't want to move. I didn't, <laughs> we don't want to sure. think about it. I didn't say anything about them. Um, no. Um, yeah, I mean... I think we looked at, we were like, oh, Chicago seems cool, but it's pretty expensive. We or thought it was pretty expensive, expensive, expensive as well. A little bit more. Definitely yeah. to own. Um, yeah, it's more expensive. And I, I definitely liked the concept of owning a house. So then if you look at like, okay, we like cities. What cities could we realistically afford a house in? And I still don't even, like, there aren't that many you can list. Joey lived in Minneapolis or Minnesota a little bit. Not many. <laughs> yes, not Minneapolis. In Minnesota a little growing up, but I had never <laughs> yeah. even visited. Yeah. I actually just started watching your videos and like getting an idea of things yeah. in Minnesota. Um, and then I got really I think attached to the concept. Yeah. I mean, I think you're right. I think that's the 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 idea of okay, the you sort of pull down the affordability line and then you're like what is even like available to me under a certain dollar amount and it's a lot of stuff goes away yeah. for sure you yeah. know and then like yeah just interests like places we started like, talking about like what do we like yeah, yeah. And well i'm what also cities offer or places i mean this is that. silly but i'm a, i'm a wolves fan yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. right <laughs> nothing silly about There's that wolves. <laughs> you know he loves the replacements and husker do i do too yeah and so it's pretty cool to like be like, oh, there's like a pretty big, yeah, you know, there's like national sports teams here and a good music scene and nice guess, weather I for some of the year. <laughs> it's really nice for a half the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome for half the year, and then yeah. I don't know. I don't mind cold. Yeah. Also, that's another factor. Yeah. Don't it doesn't seasons, bother me. Right. That was a factor. I love actually. winter. Yeah. Yeah. The so really, I mean, you mentioned Chicago. Can you could you pinpoint any other cities that even were you were considering? Maybe Philadelphia, but or like Pittsburgh, maybe for a second. Yeah, we did we did talk about Pittsburgh at one point. Okay. Um, but Philadelphia's too close. It's a home. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of places <laughs> I think we'd be interested in, but like you know, anywhere on the West Coast, we kind of just. We're yeah. like, okay, that's out of our Portland, budget. Portland, Seattle, gone price-wise. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I mean, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, we'd stop being able to fly with our dogs, so that was... <laughs> once they took away the emotional <laughs> support. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it was like, we can make an 18-hour drive from here. Yeah. Which so you mentioned that you had ties to the Twin Cities. You'd lived here previously. Um, yeah, so ultimately, how did you pick it? You mentioned, you know, affordability, being a Wolves fan, which I, again, <laughs> no need to apologize for that. <laughs> but like, what was it? Was there anything that when you actually made the decision, okay, let's take this seriously. I mean, like watching the YouTube channel, all those things. But outside of those, was there anything that you can remember about that decision making process? Um, really got I would you? say that we didn't necessarily make our decision until we like came and yeah, I mean, sure. clearly we were somewhat serious if we decided to reach out to you all, but I think probably, like, I, I don't remember the exact, like, timeline, but I, I do think, like, you did a really good job of breaking things down and, like, explaining the finance side of buying a house that it was like, mm. oh, this actually is, like, something we could do that doesn't cost as much as we think it, it might have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think I was like kind of toying with the idea of moving somewhere, Minneapolis as one of those places. 
I don't even know how. I think I just like Googled or went on YouTube and found your videos. Yeah. And it was like, you know, what we were looking for. And I started watching a bunch of them. And it was probably just YouTube. Because yeah. there aren't, there are at least at the time, there there's wasn't really much. not that many like resources no. like that. There were yeah. some pretty funny ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm familiar. And Other be- YouTube pages. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you know, we're so far away. We Then we decided to plan a trip to go see it. And the concept was like, okay, we're going to go visit. I'd never been to Minnesota before. Let's see how it is. Yeah. Let's line up what twenty <laughs> oh, home I don't tours. Think it was even that many. I think yeah, it was, I it was I, fifteen. I think we ended up doing a lot less. Um, you know, once I got into the, is it the MLS? The search. Yeah. 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 I think well, slowly even, I started making my mind up. We found our house on Zilla. Okay. Because um. <laughs> it wasn't in our. Uh, it was sort of outside of. It, it had one. It only yeah. has one bathroom. Ah. I mean, but I think like that trip was to decide whether or not we wanted to move there. And then we were like, why not look at some houses yeah, while yeah. we're there to get a really good idea. And it was kind of like, okay, if we find a house that we like, we'll make an offer that weekend. But we did not expect to do that at all. And we did. Crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think before, before we get too far into that, yeah. I, I mean, that, that's all really interesting though. Cause that's a, we think we call that a recon trip. We'll like talk it like, okay. Just I'm like, so curious. Yeah. yeah. Just like <laughs> some people don't ever come here before the, but most people do. Yeah. And they at least make a trip to be like, let me see if this is where I want to end up. And yeah, but I would say very few people actually offer on a home. Well, maybe not offer, get a home. Yeah. Right. First offer accepted. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a whole. Awesome. Yeah, we were we were not necessarily feeling too good about. Uh, I was like, <laughs> after well, day one, yeah, I was like, don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna find some. Yeah, place. that actually. Okay, before before coming here, like when you were like, at, at, let's say as you were beginning to really really lean toward you know toward coming here, what what were some of the things that you were most nervous about or most uh, in doubt about? Um. It's hard to not say the winter. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, don't don't shy away from yeah. any. Yeah. I was, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. The, for the winters are are difficult yeah. here. That's true, They're but weak. it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. Very <laughs> wintry, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm. Yeah. It's like I, I try not to like shy away from that at all. You right. Know, on the channel and all that. It's, it's like, real. Yeah, we have winters and they the, are the for sure. Yeah. You would hate for someone not to be like, oh, it's not that bad come here and then be like it's worse than yeah. these guys let us yeah. leave yeah, right. yeah, yeah well I can lean in there if you need me to yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. any other things like any uh, just about making move, friends oh, okay. which I haven't necessarily been super successful at okay. but very difficult to definitely do a concern as, you get, you know, as an adult yeah. it is hard to make friends adult. right yeah. and then like the Minnesota nice thing which I still don't I think it's just being passive aggressive. Well, that, that's what it is, uh, right? I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a, I think it's a passive aggressive thing. It's like behind your back. That's I think the I mean. bloom is off the rose on the Minnesota nice thing. I think we <laughs> I kind I think of it's all, like, it's not a thing <laughs> we, anymore. We all know, yeah, that yeah. it is. Yeah. Just, yeah I, it's just like a, a lack of, I, in my opinion, I'll speak for myself. It's like a uh, <laughs> desire to not have confrontation. Yeah. Oh, like. With, in the grocery store. That that's was, this is the I biggest about, thing. Yes. It's like, no one says, excuse me. They just wait there. And I'm just <laughs> like, just move. say like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. I get, can I go by you? <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, sorry. Or but we people just to, stand there. We were trying to find parking today. We were standing outside on our phones, and we didn't realize we were taking up the whole parking or uh, sidewalk. And someone just like stepped around us into the grass, like a, a bush, basically, <laughs> to go around <laughs> us instead of saying, excuse me. I'm like, I didn't know you were there. It's like, it's 90 degrees. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 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 That's my perspective. That's an interesting, on it. yeah, yeah, take on the Minnesota nice thing because yeah, a lot of people do think, oh, it's just passive aggressive, but like that move, like go, you know, that's not being passive aggressive in my opinion. It's yeah, like, weirdly being not wanting to, you know, engage, have to confront someone. Yeah. yeah, and then that if way. it's something you, if it ends up being something that they disagree on, then it turns into passive right, aggression. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Did you have any other just reservations? Or nervous. Um. About? I mean, that's a big, I mean, you'd mostly be- just relating to, you know, leaving 
L.A. Yeah. Sure. And, you know, uh, entering a new chapter. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And kind of like what that all meant to you yeah, and all that. which I'm still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do think, thinking back further now, I think part of that was also like, okay, it kind of is looking like it's going to be really difficult to break into comedy well, writing. Well, clearly it is. In the like TV, with, like, like, look at the strike right the now. The writer's yeah. striking it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You dodged a bullet there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is good trying. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So I think it was also <laughs> like, okay, I can live any. I have a remote job. I can live or work anywhere, and... What's uh, I was like, oh, there seems like there's a lot of like big companies here. Well, I think you had to live near an airport, right? Oh, well, yes. So, but we want to live in a city anyway. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> no, but I meant like for you, job opportunities. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of like big companies headquartered here. Tons, so, yeah. I can't really speak to the job opportunities here myself, but um, you haven't had to yeah deal with it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think you know, I think that is a draw for a lot of people, you know. But, but still, you're still leaving a place that you had a job, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go to somewhere where I don't have a job, and mm-hmm. like, what does that mean, you know? Uh, but yeah, it's obviously not for you. Right? Yeah. you. You just kept your job. But well, I, I kept. I transferred. Oh, okay. Um, Easy. Actually, today <laughs> was my last day working. Whoa. <laughs> so <laughs> I just quit. Crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, day like today you yeah, quit? Today's his last no, day. no, I, I quit. Oh, no. I quit two weeks ago. I, <laughs> okay. I gave him notice. He's no longer working. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The old one day, two week notice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the old day of two week notice. Any in terms of like the the process of buying? Did, were there any reservations about that? Um, maybe less than there should have been. <laughs> Not that it's been like terrible, but or it's been good for the like we haven't had any issues or. But I just think it's like. To have, all, to do a recon trip and not be even thinking about realistically, I mean, I'm sure you think about it, obviously, but um, not expecting, I guess, maybe to I wasn't put expecting, an offer yeah. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's. I mean, we, we were like, we are prepared to if we, if we need to, or if we find the perfect place or whatever. Right. And uh, we, ha- I mean, uh, we are in the lucky situation where both of our parents have owned homes and could give us advice on things and I mean that's not the case for everybody we could like ask them for advice they knew we were going to Minnesota to look at houses they're like make sure you get your cashier's check <laughs> um, they did we don't have checks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we don't have <laughs> checkbooks I don't know yeah. <laughs> well, whenever you need Who one you them? need it right away I don't either right yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you had come here, had you spent much time like perusing homes online and stuff like that? Yeah, did you have a concept of what houses in Minnesota were like? I ask because I honestly don't even really know what houses in LA are like. <laughs> True. So I, yeah. Um, I, it was so far from reality for me to look at a house, like a house for sale. I did look at houses for sale for a while, or it'd be like a lot for six hundred and ninety-four thousand dollars <laughs> in like. A far, like, kind of distant. I, I would like be like, oh my god, we could like build a. Ha-. I'm yeah. kind of a dreamer. Sure. Um, so once I get caught up in, <laughs> it's it's true. Goal um, oriented. That's not. That's yeah. not I am very goal oriented. Yeah. So like, once I have my mindset, that's when I'm like, I'm doing research, watching videos, I'm looking on Zillow, to yeah, get. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, get an idea. Of, I hit the mic. Oh. Um, of how much? <laughs> I thought it was like Zillow. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, sorry for <laughs> mentioning it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. We'll talk about why it's not great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we didn't, like, attempt to use it at all. Yeah. We but you were, you were looking at stuff across price ranges and stuff like that on, on the likes of Zillow. Yeah, I think it's just fun yeah. to shop Yeah, we, and we looked all around. Like, mm. I mean, we, we sort of had an idea of, like a mix with like your videos and Reddit and whatnot, maybe yeah. like with areas we would maybe want to live in. Those were probably our sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's funny. I might never on Reddit. Like I never go on Reddit, but I think yeah, a lot it's, of people cite it as like, yeah. oh, I heard about whatever on Reddit. If I have a question about something and I want to get like a an answer. Yeah. Okay. I realized, like, as I started saying this, it wasn't answers? great. When I when I yeah. Google something well, and I really want to know what it is, I put Reddit at the it end. It is. Yeah. You're right. The truth. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. narrow. Pers- <laughs> it's only whatever people on Reddit are saying. Yeah. So you have to keep that in mind. But it's things that you're gonna hear that you wouldn't find if you go to like a yeah. most realtors websites or yeah. just Google like go to the meet like 
visit Minnesota website, oh, you're yeah. not yeah. going to find anything yeah. um, of interest there. No, that's like for people who are just like just vacationing in Minnesota. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, you know, <laughs> most of the time. Most people probably are looking at homes to see, you know, what, what they can afford and, and all that, you know. But some people... Some people's expectations seem to differ with what is actually like available in Minnesota, or they they think like houses are like they're coming from LA and they're like oh houses are basically free in Minnesota, you know because of how different it is, which maybe comparatively it is, but they there's a there can be some uh, like not very realistic expectations of how much money gets you a certain house in Minnesota, you know, in right. Minnesota. Yeah. But I, think I feel like we were on the right path or I track. I think we were pretty clear. Pretty um, realistic. Like, yeah. I, there were definitely a couple of houses where we were like, these look really good, and they sold before we even looked at them. So right. that, it kind of Once confirms we, that yeah. that was the case. started getting more serious, you could definitely, like the ones <laughs> we liked yeah. went quick. Um, and then, yeah, Reddit people would be like, that's so expensive. And I'm like, this is cheaper than any other city where yeah. you can buy a house in. So it's all about different perspectives. I think a lot a lot of people say, a lot of people here say like, how could, they, how could homes possibly get more expensive? And I'm often, I will often say, tell that to San Francisco, tell that to LA. Yeah. I you mean, know, they're, anywhere. I mean. <laughs> even like, I mean. We're so on the affordable end of yeah. homes oh, yeah. here that it's like, of course it can get more expensive and it will like i have i have no doubt that in the in the long run homes will get more and more expensive you know it's mm -hmm. like there's I mean, no yeah everything i mean all the rest of money is yeah inflating there's, or yeah and there's just so many cities that are so much more expensive than us that it's like yeah they are they're showing that like there is that room for that to go up yeah you know but yeah, I think, yeah, that's, that's cool. I think now like we can shift toward like now you've decided, well, I don't know. Cause it happened fast. Yeah. I, it was quick. I would say your recon trip at the, you were, you were like, let's see if this happens. I don't know that you, other than making the offer on the home and then probably getting through inspection or whatever, you never really made the. Yeah. When did when do you feel? Now I want to know like when I emailed you. I kind of. Oh, I'm to, curious about that too. Actually, or, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was probably really. It was all very quick. W when would you say that you decided to move? Was it when you put an offer on the home? Yeah. That I think was we like knew a, we were moving either. Well, we knew we would move. At, we were going to leave the point. apartment we were in, regardless. So we knew we were going to move. We didn't know if it was going to be locally or yeah. to Minnesota. Yeah. And so the the recon trip was a little bit of, let's see if we find anything that we let's see if we find a home that does the trick for us that makes yeah, what us else, feel. Tell us more about the recon trip. I, rem I, I vaguely remember. I remember the houses that we saw vaguely, mm -hmm. but I don't <laughs> like. And you guys telling me about like stuff that you were up to, but like, yeah. What was? G give us a little more detail on that trip. How long were you here? I'll stop doing this. But yeah. What are you doing? She's looking at the email that she sent me. Uh oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, you probably deleted. Let me it. guess. I bet it was September of 2021 because mm. that was. Was I it? I think it had. It. it that, the, you like guys the, were the first group that I worked with once yeah, I joined up. With it, Jesse. We, it was oh, Halloween true. when we put an offer on. The weekend you came was Halloween. Yeah, I think it was Halloween. Okay. Day. Huh. That it we was. Crazy. Wow, this yeah. is actually wild. <laughs> October 13th. Okay. So 2021. Was, yeah. wow. I was going to say, I thought it was quicker. <laughs> we emailed so you. So we probably talked yeah. to you that week, and then you were out here within a week. I think we had already... We had already. <laughs> we were planning we to We were already going to visit. Okay. We, Did you go to a Wolves game? We went to two, and they were both <laughs> horrible games. Big, big L's, but that was a good year. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Very narrow timeline. Yeah. We, we initially reached out to you all. There, You were the only realtors we reached out to um or real estate agents i know there's a difference we are realtors technically. okay yeah okay. part of the national association of realtors yeah look at these guys same thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. not the same thing pros here yeah um okay. so yeah you all were the only people we, re we reached out to i guess did i say october 13th yeah and then we were there october 29th i think to like november 1st or 2nd yeah i think we came back on the second Crazy. yeah and when we were, yeah, we had bought a house. The yeah. deal had went gone through yeah. by the time we got back to LA. So aside from going to a Timberwolves game, couple 
Two. A couple two, two tree. Okay. <laughs> two Timberwolves games. Uh, and seeing houses. Did, did you do anything else? Where did you stay? We stayed at an Airbnb. Okay. In our neighborhood. Down the street from where we bought our house. Cool. I think in the, the same. You know, it was in Audubon Park, right? Yep. Yeah. So. Cool. Was Pretty that crazy. was that by design? Was that because you had already narrowed down to Audubon Park a little no, bit? No, Northeast was okay. definitely our top choice okay. of neighborhood. But yeah, what I'm trying to remember what areas, what other areas were we looking? Yeah, Longfellow and maybe Seward. Okay. I think um, those were like the two areas we thought we would like the most. And then we saw one in, in like St. Anthony Park. Oh, that's true. I think. Mm. And um, we just did a video there yeah. not too long ago. It was a nice house. It was a little over. Uh, it was priced. a really nice house. It's a more expensive area for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, hundred k more than Northeast. I think it I was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was. I think it sold around what it was listed at. And it was more than our house, and it was definitely a fixer up. Yeah, you definitely get more house for your yeah. money in Northeast than St. Anthony Park. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I think we looked at a house in St. Anthony. Technically. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is, I mean, basically right there. But yeah, we were, I think the plan was, yeah, go to some Timberwolves games, look at some houses, and then really the goal for that weekend was to get an idea of what neighborhoods we liked yeah. and would want to if live we in. Could, yeah, if we and wanted to live And then if it all here. worked out, yeah. <laughs> find the perfect house for yeah. us. I think that's that's often what we say. Like, make that make that trip more about finding the location, yeah. and less about finding like the actual house, uh, because the likelihood of people finding a house on that that you know few day trip is actually quite low. Yeah, but and getting an offer accepted, especially. Yeah, 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 actually true. Yeah, most people will find a house that they like, but will they get that offer accepted? That's where that changes pretty dramatically. But mm-hmm. yeah, obviously that did work for you, which is cool. That situation for y'all is so different than so many people. Like what so many people experience in a positive way. It was very easy. The friction was much lower for y'all. I mean, obviously you have your own friction of getting here and whatever. Uh But a lot of people experience a lot more friction than that in getting a home. There was like one moment in the inspection process where we were like a little iffy. But that was like... Yeah. You're more of a worrier. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Was there... Uh, this is what I was thinking about earlier. You got you got the first offer accepted. Yeah. Did that was that accompanied by any re- buyer's remorse or or questioning if you offered too much? Yeah. Um, we, I don't think so necessarily. For our house specifically, what happened was that it was on the market. Someone else had made an offer. Or they got it. They were in an inspection. They so were, it was taken accepted. down. It fell It fell out of inspection? It was also... Contingency? Y- yeah. We it actually was, know exactly what happened. I don't know if Steve wants to... We don't I need to... Ha- no, I, oh, okay. I think it's a really, really interesting story if you guys are open to yeah. talking yeah. about it. So yeah. basically, I guess your uh, wife... Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Tell me. Okay, so this, this particular home in Northeast was under contract. Another buyer had an offer submitted an offer that was accepted. They were in an inspection period and there was a question about the structural integrity of the garage. Um, they decided that they were not comfortable, the, this other buyer, uh-huh. with the, the condition of the garage, so they backed out, the husband back on the market. Emily, Joey, and I saw it. They really, really liked it and put an offer and got accepted. During inspection... Same thing came up. Well, they, we knew kind of. It was pretty evident. It wasn't like a. You didn't need an inspector. To yeah, see that there was sure. some issue with the garage. Lots of uneven cracks sure. in the garage. Yeah. But they, we found out through my wife actually that the who the previous buyer was. She just happened to work with this person, so she okay. said, <laughs> that, "Yeah, my my wife Sarah was like, hey, my coworker so and so." Uh, has an accepted offer on a house northeast, and, I, and but it just fell through because of an inspection issue. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I just had an offer accepted because of a house that fell through in northeast. Uh, what, and I pulled it up. She recognized it from the photos that her coworker had showed her. Crazy. And so this, so we knew this person who had the old the offer on the home. This person had also done a structural uh, had a structural engineer take a look at the garage and made a report, and so we asked politely if we could have access to that because we knew who the person sure. was who had, had you know had um, gotten this report so we asked if we could take a look at it she was very gracious and allowed us to view it uh joey and emily took a look at it i guess you guys can 
say yeah, how you felt about it. I think it was, like the report itself was made me worried as a little more than uh, I. Pre- I think there was, was so some helpful. some salesmanship in the. Oh my report, gosh! You know, I, <laughs> like saying this needs. I to think be also fixed. the use case for the garage is different for yeah, us right. than the previous uh, previous people interested in the home, but I was like calling you know yeah. garage repair people to get kind of general estimates of like how much it would cost because we were i think more worried about it than we needed to be at the time um i mean it we, hasn't par- we parked our yet. car in it for a whole year and nothing yeah. or two not years that long. <laughs> a year and a half nothing has happened um but like we did think okay if we have to spend ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars fixing this garage is it worth it? Will we still want to buy the house? And I guess. Yeah. Well, I think our the original number that maybe was. It was, was at least higher 15, than that. Twenty thousand, um, I think. And then when we original. called people, it was a little more like that, that it wouldn't necessarily. I don't know. I It'd be an easier think, fix than. I also what? think when you did the walkthrough with the inspector, he was like. I mean, he definitely highlighted it, but I don't. I think just getting a few people's perspectives on yeah. it. We were like, yeah. okay, that's fine. There's the idea of ask, like asking a barber if you need a haircut. And sometimes you ask a structural, you know, or you ask a garage guy, do I need a new garage? And they'll be like, like, absolutely. Yeah. This is not <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. getting some, some opinions on like, you know, are there ways to button this up where it doesn't involve a whole new thing or whatever? Yeah. But I, I remember like trying to grab like photos from the inspection, little like glimpses of the garage floor to well, send we also, to people. We also had like uh, a fair <laughs> inspection report that they had done on the house. Our too. the people we bought our house from the, the sellers had done a pre inspection. Yeah. Because well, fun fact, I don't know. This is maybe also unique to our case is that the seller was a realtor oh. as well. Um, and it was her house. That's fairly unique. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they had done a pre-inspection. They had made us aware, and I not. A, I mean, like you could see it with your eyes. You didn't. You know, it wasn't like a an issue that, would, like a, a you know sewer line, for example, something that you couldn't have seen. Yeah. In the walkthrough. Like yeah, she she said like it was because of the garage. Mm-hmm. Like the the day we were looking at it, right? I think. I think so. That the buyer had backed out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that. I think yeah. She, I think that when we spoke when I spoke to her, I think she told me that. Mm-hmm. Huh. And that's why we kind of <laughs> focused the in there. To, yeah. yeah. In there. Crazy. Any, uh, yeah, that's a very unique. But yeah, I don't know. As far as the price goes, I think that was your original. Oh, that was your original <laughs> question. Yeah, I, I don't you think so. Any, no. It, well, I, th- I think it's, um, especially because I, we do our best to kind of condition buyers to realize that it's probably not going to be the first offer that they make that gets accepted. And so when yeah. it does happen, I mean, we get the sense maybe sometimes that uh, it can be, people can think, oh, maybe have I offered too much? Why was this so easy? How did this right. get accepted so quickly? Yeah, yeah, and they're like, maybe I paid too much for this. Maybe I'm, maybe my offer was too generous, or it just like, or even like maybe I didn't don't like that house that much. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, yeah. People, yeah. Like you I know. have to fight hard enough or yeah. something. Like, yeah, I it was, I mean, we were there for a long time and nobody else came, but it was also, it was Halloween. I don't know if that makes a difference. That's for sure. No, it was at like time time 4 or 5 p.m. Worked out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, um, I think a few things is that we had this pre-inspection to look at and we also had a list of like all of the improvements they had done on the house. So we had a lot to look at before making the offer to kind of like, back up our decision as far as like whether or not and like how much to offer and like what to ask for in the offer so we offered it was it was put back up we wanted to have at least two bathrooms this was only one so we like ha- came across this house by happenstance i guess i mean um, we were just looking on to to see like i think it was like we were sort of going at it with a fresh uh, well, it was, it was yeah, so much better houses for than any other house that's we looked thing. at. That's a very unique characteristics that yeah. not only would be difficult to find in a house while they were here, but also just in general. Yeah. That. Heated floors in our vaulted uh, four season garage. <laughs> 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 that was like the, the four room. season porch, uh, porch yeah. which basically we just use as a living room. Um, it was definitely the, it's pretty cool. the biggest yeah. selling point. There were unique features that made it more yeah. interesting. They're so still... we offered at 
at cost? Is no, that what you say? At we, 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 Thank have, you. we offered 10 above Did list. We? Oh, well. Um, because we asked them to pay for closing ah, costs. But Which, a net of list, yeah. right. nonetheless. Right. Cool. With the ask, too. Yeah. So our only other costs. consideration is like we were almost thinking to do just list and minus closing costs. Minus, clo- minus closing Get costs, which is like maybe yeah. we could have, but. Yeah. And maybe you could have, but maybe then somebody else would have, maybe they would have yeah. drugged their feet, somebody else would have swooped in, and then you would have yeah. been like, oh, And it was just... definitely one of those houses <clears throat> that would have gone quickly, but yeah. I'd say for me, the biggest, like, compromise was the, like, having one less yeah, bathroom. Yeah, the, the bathroom is definitely. But the yeah. basement's unfinished, and we, we figured we'd have room to. Totally. You know, improve over time. Yeah. Yeah. So when your offer was accepted, where was your head at? Like, can you remember how that felt? Was it exciting or stressful or both? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because then, because oh, it, it, we had, I think technically we negotiated. She did counter offer okay. with because we wanted a sixty day close. Oh, ah. sure. And she did forty five. Sure. And th- that was it. Was a quick turnaround because we were in like zero percent ready to move like yeah, yeah, yeah. we had not started at all yeah and we had to move in yeah december 15th and we were deciding this what yeah like halloween weekend yeah. so and we hadn't packed or <laughs> we were not prepared <laughs> no to move. Yeah, yeah yeah so we wanted to do it i think yeah until the the end of the year but holidays yeah but it, it worked out it, we, it's a good thing we didn't because pretty much like <laughs> the day we moved in it awesome. had just snowed like 10 inches and then melted <laughs> and it was like 60 degrees and like storming it was like december 15th wow and so all the snow was gone and then like two days later is snow for the rest of yeah. the year so <laughs> we yeah. would not have made it because we drove and yeah yeah, yeah. But, but when we made i was really excited i remember us sitting in our airbnb and like waiting you know just mm-hmm. to hear from you basically and I was excited, but yeah, then it's like, yeah, oh we're shit, definitely this excited. is like really happening. Yeah. But yeah, just logistics stuff. I'm a little bit of a uh, stressor. I would say most of the people that we help, so, somebody is more of a worrier. Somebody is, is less of a worrier. <laughs> the, uh, uh, you know, when the it's dreamer. a couple. Yeah. Yeah. The dreamer and the worrier. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw, uh, I saw um, a meme the other day that said like, there are two types of people, people who pack a week before the trip and people who pack the day of, and they are usually end up together. <laughs> and man, my girlfriend and I are very much that way. Yeah. I'm like day of, yeah. you know, getting my stuff together. But uh, yeah, I think, okay, so then everything, we kind of talked about the inspection and, and how that all worked out. The did everything else seem to go pretty smooth from you know like or was there any surprises in the like underwriting process or uh yeah okay the very like two or three days before it was like the day Mm -hmm. before we were leaving there was just i don't know it it was a mistake made by the i guess the underwriter um they because we had that extra ten thousand dollars they kind of were taking that off of our cash to close which they shouldn't have been like as part of the down payment well i I think it was just like a, a misunderstanding. No, no, they they put it in wrong. I mean, it was yeah. like they did it wrong. It because okay. the day that we actually had to, like, it was the finalized cash to close. It went up like two or three thousand right. dollars, and we're like, how did this happen? They're like, well, it's because that couldn't be used as part of the down payment, which makes sense. But they were counting it as that before, ah, uh, which yeah. then we ended up just like putting it towards a home warranty. Sure. Like right, you had like a little bit of extra money yeah, from that. from the, because t- the closing costs there were less than 10000 Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And they kind of, yeah. Huh. So they, yeah, they did the math a little weird. Yeah. And it kind of, I mean, we were fine. But a little surprise though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a couple thousand dollars yeah. is, <laughs> yeah. is something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? Oh. I was just going to say a lot of the documents that you look at when you do that, <laughs> when you buy a house are, are, I'd never seen before and it's a lot to understand them yeah i feel like i got to a good point of comp because you know you don't want to like not know what you're getting yourself into to some extent yeah. um the first time i ever bought a place on my own i was just so nervous that something was gonna go wrong you know that they were gonna they were gonna call me and be like mm, we found the thing that is why you're not gonna get the house you know and, and like i was so sure that some financial piece would come right up. it was a little tricky because you need 
basically you need to ha I think you talked about this in one of your videos is like you have to prove that you have income yeah which means you oh, have I to have get, a job I did get some into jury duty like the last week <laughs> okay. and and I was like I can't not get paid you know yeah like that would be bad yeah so i just i i That's sent in yeah um i sent in a thing they didn't ever i don't they, they denied it i guess and i just didn't go and no i have it but i called them like a couple months later when i was here i was like i don't live there yeah and yeah. they're just like well just send us your i don't know proof of address or whatever i had to go to the dmv and get Correct. my license because i hadn't yet yeah from or minnesota you know yeah Crazy. But yeah, that was that was annoying. Yeah, but I mean, jury duty right before a close. That sounds like you're like, <laughs> well, what? Like, that's yeah, it yeah. seems like it should be a, an excuse or like a, a yeah, way to get out of it. They were like, no. Ah, that's crazy. You were pinpointing northeast. You ended up moving to northeast. That was on your radar. Coming into it, yeah, mm -hmm. right, uh, and were I guess. What about that area were you drawn to? Yeah, or talk us through the thought process of like how you ended up there and maybe not somewhere else that you initially had considered as well. I would say that it's maybe, I mean, less so, you know, as, as the years go on, I guess, but it's a little more affordable than some areas. I think that's still true. Um, I mean, yeah. It, yeah, it's going up, but so is everywhere else. Yeah, and so, you know. and then it, like, it's close to downtown, but doesn't necessarily like you. So I mean, we live in a single family home, so yeah. it's like it doesn't feel like at yeah, all like it feels like we're on like top of a hill, and we just feel like we're in a little neighborhood. You yeah, know? yeah, it feels very <clears throat> like not that we were necessarily looking for like so I don't even want to say like a suburban vibe, but we live in the city still. Yeah, we're ten minutes away from downtown. yeah. It's like the, we can walk to places still. We we're like situated in between central and johnson just keep, i'm really you're, telling you're everybody right yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. no you're no i don't, I don't need to do cut that, that no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're 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 there's a lot there's some cool streets those are in the streets neighborhood with things on yeah. it and we with can things to, to do there's lots of parks and i think that's like probably the case for do you want to give the parks away to no <laughs> i'm not i'm not going to mention the parks we, we live could, adjacent to <laughs> There's but you do live parks. in Audubon Park, so Audubon Park is yeah, probably... Yeah, you did give that away. Yeah. So. Sorry. It's okay. There's more parks, though. Yeah. So many parks here. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. The, and, you know, you, you, you were considering some of the other areas. So yeah. Like Longfellow-ish mm -hmm. or, or Seward, I guess, right? Just yeah. like that, I guess, greater Longfellow yeah. area. So. The Longfellow community. Yeah. Rather than like the Longfellow small. I mean, we right, looked like, at, I think we looked at a couple right of, of the houses. Minnehaha yeah. Mile. To the mm -hmm. right of. We looked at a couple of houses in like, I don't know, like Southwest Minneapolis. Oh, uh, we did look I, in like King, one house in Kingfield. Is that a place? I don't know. I don't I really go that's over there place. very much. It is. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It definitely felt more like. Not our vibe as Not much. our vibe. Yeah. 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 Um, and like, you know. Maybe there's other things. Right? It's just the house we looked at. Um, <laughs> just other areas okay. you considered, or uh, oh, yeah. that was what I was gonna say. Like, I were they still on the table, and you just found a house in in Northeast that yeah. did the trick more? Uh, yeah. Like, if you had found that same house in Longfellow, you could have easily ended up in Longfellow, or was there something else that? That's a good question. I feel. I like definitely think once we were here, we we were like we would like to live in Northeast. Yeah, the uh, the pool for living pool. in South Minneapolis, the P U P U L L. Pool. Yes, um, I'm like, is, what? is to be on the light rail. Ah, I thought sure. that was that would be yeah. really cool. I've always liked the concept of not having to have a car to get places. Yeah. though. Just go there are bikes. To America yeah, right. that, exactly. yeah, that's what I was well, going like, well, to do. Well, you can connect to the other one, right? Or well, then like, it goes I can go to take downtown, and, but yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. that's a hike though. Noise. Airport yeah. would be easy as pie if you lived. Uh, Airport, yeah. Timberwolves yeah. games. I mean, yeah, downtown Minneapolis for all sorts of things. For yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, but it's also a very uh, car-friendly city. Whether or not that's yeah. preferred, yeah. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah, it's easy to get around and car. easier. You kind of have to. For yeah, mo most people have to, but it's also like compared to in LA. It's, yeah, it's not like a pain to park much for the most time. part. Yeah. Although, yeah, 
I did make her drive because I'm bad at parallel parking. <laughs> so whenever we come, to, you know, to Closer more, to the more the dense yeah. areas, yeah. I have like to drive. That. Yeah, that's cool. I like the how did you move. Yeah, yeah. So, I yeah think oh, get into that. Like yeah. The, the logistics of how you moved. You know, did yeah. You use a pod? Did you pack we used a pod. Okay. Um, Was that so a we had already experience? moved across the country from Baltimore to Los Angeles. So even further. Um, and we used the U boxes. And it came pretty. I mean, everything was mostly intact, but it was, it was destroyed. Like what was the the box uh-huh. itself? Whoa. Oh, oh! You so I was like, oh, these are a little, and like, it was lost for a minute. What was it made of? Is it? They're just like plywood. Oh, it wasn't they, as nice. Yeah. yeah, the pod the pods are like metal. Yeah, right. And, yeah, the yeah. pods thing is. Yeah. <clears throat> so we were like, we needed more space because we had more furniture. We actually kept when we moved here, so we got like the smallest pod. Um had a had a you know, we underestimated our time we had to take our stuff to a pod facility i guess no. that is how we moved yeah it's how we did it yeah because we lived on too busy of a street oh yeah. right yeah oh, wouldn't, it, wouldn't so we had that to we'd use a u-haul to, to take it there and then read it was horrible and we were like one hour away from well and at the, we the like pod. loosely packed because we had this big truck <laughs> oh yeah we had already dropped stuff on the way so to the we pod. like i have this danish wall unit and it's like falling as we open it up oh to gosh. pack it it I was, was fine like, oh my gosh but we had to be like um, really careful and do everything super fast at the pod place and the guy was basically just driving around on his forklift we were like the only people there he's trying to leave and we're just like rushing you know and we accomplished it. We made nice. it happen. Uh, it, it worked, but it, it was I, it was it was one of the more I, I, yeah. But then afterwards, That's I was like, I "Wow, shine. I can't believe we did that." That's <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, but we did like a cost. I'm all about the analysis of like what's going to cost the least yeah. amount of money. So we looked at like movers, pods, U-Haul, U-Pack, movers. Which we is did. Way, that was a brief. We looked at it and then looked away. So and I don't like people okay. touching my yeah. stuff. I yeah. don't know. And then like, oh, we got rid of a bunch of stuff. Do you want to get rid of stuff? Do you want to buy new furniture Yeah. when you get to your new spot? With, I guess, with it all all said and done, the frustration of it, what, would you do anything different? Um, but with where, where we were at, I would say not. No, probably not. I don't think. Other than start an hour earlier. Or yeah, be like be more prepared. Pack. It's always like be more prepared. Yeah. Just pack more over time. I'm always yeah. Last minute. Yeah, yeah. and I like to pack things because yeah. or, or you'll be like I don't know how to pack this. Uh, well, I also I I get I would be, get tired and just have to go to sleep. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Well, I get I get tired when I get stressed. So yeah. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I get that. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest annoyance, if you can avoid it, is to not pack pod twice you know yeah yeah actually i had to do that uh when i moved into an an apartment that i probably lived in when y'all moved here but uh i i had packed up a u-haul and the day that i was going to be moving in they hadn't passed their uh, water inspection yet so Mm -hmm. i was supposed to be like the first person who actually i was the first person who moved in but i was supposed to be on the first day yeah and they they were like you can't move in today we can't move in for a week oh, and I was no. like I have a like a U-Haul full of stuff yeah. and I also don't have access to my old apartment anymore and they're like well they were like you can move into this other apartment which is actually like right up central there you can move into this other apartment for a week and I was like that sounds like a nightmare <laughs> you know like <laughs> just and, for a week yeah I was like what and so I just was like well how about I just leave my stuff packed and but then the U-Haul said they're like we need that truck the day before you move into the other, so I had to, oh I had gosh. to move that all that stuff into another truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pain in the it's, butt. But I yeah, moving twice is so annoying. Both times we've moved, we've had to transport it to the facility of the place. Dang, which it's not the move. It, it, luckily, both times it was able to be dropped off. I don't think the U-Haul necessarily was supposed to be dropped off in front of our house in LA, but. They did. Right, that took like oh. thirty days to get there. What we did with oh, that? Oh yeah, we it, we we did have to. But you have more week. flexibility with pods, yeah. and it can like 
chill in a spot for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were actually faster than the pod, I think. Okay. Yeah. Right? We got lucky, because, though. With- because of how short our planning was, we right. only had a limited uh, time frame Dates. to choose from. Mm-hmm. So we, had to, we slept on an air mattress for a, a while. Yeah. A couple of weeks <laughs> on both uh, ends yeah. of it. Yeah. I get, yeah, it's kind of just part of the deal, right? For most people. Yeah. Short of paying a, a cross country mover to like do or, it. Yeah. yeah. A hotels, team, a team yeah. of like four people or something. Yeah. 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 Or all hotels or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I, I think that that's mostly how we recommend people is, is a pod situation yeah. because of cost and flexibility more than anything else. But it's yeah. A, if you, yeah, if you can do it, I feel like it's. Yeah. And yeah. a, a lot of people probably aren't in your situation of the road being too busy to have a pod sitting yeah. on it. Yeah. But that's an interesting... Uh, yeah, something to think about. Yeah, something I did, was not aware of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's like that. You, they can just be like, no, we can't do it there. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Now that you've, you've moved here, you're officially residents of Minnesota, you ha- how long... You, I guess so December 15th, 2021? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So a year and a half fish? Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Okay. So exactly. Cool. What What do you like? I guess you sort of answered some of this. Is what drew you to uh-huh. the area to 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 northeast specifically? Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you find that you enjoy the most, or that you utilize the most most often, or anything like that? There are tons of paved bike trails. W- right I wouldn't say we house. utilize we it as much as we do. We definitely don't utilize them as much as we do. I, the Best thing we weekend. utilize the most is the parks. Or the park. Yeah, we do go to the park right every by our day. house so every day. And, and it's really walking nice. Walking our dog. Yeah. Um, and again, being a walking distance like coffee shops or like little stores or like things like that. Restaurants. Restaurants. I don't know why they say restaurants. Our, favorite there are some really good restaurants close to us well it's so we're vegan so um <laughs> the secret francis so. uh ah, yeah, they, yeah yeah francis is just awesome. had that what really the heck it. it's crazy yeah. it's witchcraft i yeah. don't even understand what they're doing yeah yeah it's crazy that's good we yeah. really like chimborazo too which is also i mean that's doxing us more that's right? yeah. it's definitely it's mm-hmm. that's the closest Trying to give it away. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's out there trying. It is really good. <laughs> Chimborazo is really good. Because fun <laughs> fact, the the highest elevation in all of Minneapolis is Wait, did now, in did northeast. No. <laughs> I didn't say where. I said it's in northeast. It's extreme. Ah. It's in northeast. So I wasn't expecting it to be. Because people talk about Minnesota flat being really is. flat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We just Boom. happen to be in a really like the I hilliest area. I probably know exactly what you're talking because, yeah, it's... I live very close to Emily and Joey, and yeah, it's it's weird to be in a, in a hilly part, hilly yes yeah. part of uh, Minneapolis because yeah, it's it is you know it's, Minneapolis it's, itself it's so flat. is quite flat. Yeah, yeah, right. it's tough to get up on a bike, like with the, the hill. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a pretty extreme hill for yeah. here. At least. I can picture it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't talked about Art World. Yeah, oh, oh, that's and cool. Yeah, we. We're out of town this year, which I was so... Well, Joey was especially bummed yeah, about. Um, it wasn't for um, this my sake that we were out of town. Right, I made, exactly. I made a, a great sacrifice. Yes, yes. you did. <laughs> to not uh, go. <laughs> but really, that was probably like the best... One of the best weekends we've had here. Um, Art World is like a... Kind of all of Northeast turns into and art, festival. Like a block art party festival that, block know, party yeah, yeah. like all the bands throughout all of northeast all the breweries have like live music and like everybody's outside there's like you go in people's galleries garages that, that open up in people's houses there. yeah and everybody's on their bikes so we yeah just biked around yeah and it, went to see music and art and had cool. some beer and ice cream and yeah food it was great and you had to miss this year that sucks we had to yeah. miss it this year yeah Bummer. But. Yeah, it's a like it's such a unique, I don't know, like opportunity. Like, there's just not many places or not many events like that. No, it's yeah, so cool. it's really like, so cool. sprawling it's, it's, and yeah. it's like everywhere. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it to- all encompassing, you know, yeah. uh, uh, of an area. Yeah, the trolley stopped in front of here. I don't oh, know that's if, cool. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what for, if I'm being honest, <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't know. They did, I guess, for restaurants and breweries and stuff. But mm-hmm. that's cool. Any, uh, yeah, I think your area is you're really accessible to things. 
Yeah. Right? Like it is it, accessible. It's just like anything is easy to get to. I just like... And I, we can go to the mall in Roseville for our... Yes. Our Love Roseville. normal uh, <laughs> everyday needs. Yeah. You know, really. Yeah. When we got to go to... Um, but gap. I think like... <laughs> the yeah. Warby Parker. <laughs> yeah. um, there's like lots of arts things in Northeast too. Like art... Uh, what is that place called? <laughs> the big building. North Robert King. King? Northern, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so, something like that. I think I I think that kind of space is really cool. I used to do pottery, so I have been like, oh, I think in my mind when I was like also looking, I was like, oh, I'm gonna like take pottery classes here. You can yeah. do that. My wife does it. She oh really? It. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Where does she do it? Talk about that. Uh, I can't remember the name of the place, but it's it, yeah. <laughs> I hope. Does I that hope sound crazy? Up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah. That was a cool person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool guy alert. Okay. Uh, uh, Some place in St. Anthony, close to where we live. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. The, you know, the St. Anthony Village, kind of where, like, the Chipotle and, like... The uh, GameStop? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do know where it's that is. Right oh, I just there. saw that place yeah, the other day. I can't day. remember the name, of, the name okay. of it. But I did I did a... We, the two of us did a class three, three Saturdays. It was very enjoyable. She liked it so much that she did, like... A, more intermediate one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, check that okay. out. Okay, I will check that out. You couldn't cool. keep up? I, it was the, I mean, I liked it, but it was just like, I think yeah. I've maxed out in terms of time spent on the wheel. Sure, <laughs> sure. There's a, I know, I know a gal who runs a place called Dame Errant, or Dame Errant, I don't know actually how to say it, but. I think it's Errant. Y- is it? It's you spelled know it? like E-R-R-A-N-T. You're just like, like, that's how, just well, that's how you say that word. Yeah, okay, so. Okay. Yeah, the and it's a clay place, and she does classes and stuff like that. It's sort of by, by like mother. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the plant. plant stuff. Yeah, that yeah. Place is very cool. Very that cool is place a cool place. place. Um, but yeah, so it's sort of Not just North outside East. of North Loop, and kind of just before you get to mother. Uh, but yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good food. Good shopping. We do have season tickets oh well we haven't even touched <laughs> well, on that sorry. that's not specific to northeast sorry do you though yeah, we do that's yeah. cool oh yeah we should um, give you some tickets sometime. <laughs> <laughs> give or invite tickets. you to a game yeah um the people behind us did sell their seats every game well i don't know why <laughs> did you have do you have the whole thing or did you just do like a 20 game package no the whole it got oh, me God. through the winter oh it is it is nice yeah. <laughs> I, I, I believe that i believe that yeah. it's like something to do so often that you're like cool i, I mean there's definitely doing. times yeah. where it feels like there was like a seven game like stretch straight home games you know yeah where i was like oh, this, I think this it was like is a six lot six or something <laughs> in nine days yeah that was a lot but since i work remotely i don't go outside yeah. Yeah. Um, in the winter very much other than to walk our dogs. So. Yeah. Which is something. It's more than some people well, probably. Well, that's true. That's thanks true. We have thanks to. for boosting me up. I mean, yeah. um, but you like a nice uh, an excuse to, to like leave, yeah. proper leave the house and go do something. It, yeah. yeah. It gave me that. Yeah. And there's skyways here, so I didn't yeah, well, have to, 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 yeah, to get into the, uh, yeah. <laughs> the arena, you don't have to go outside, really. True. Yep. Um, you can be outside. Yeah. <laughs> outside of your home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of that, has there, been any, has there been anything that has been particularly difficult to adapt to? You can say the cold. But no, I, mean, I think for her it would be the winter. For me, yeah. I, I think I'm like coming to the realization that I probably have seasonal depression or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's really, it is tough. Yeah. Um, well, and I it's think like, it's a vitamin D deficiency. I mean, I think... Taking take, vitamin take D is good for you too, mm-hmm. but it's just like, oh, I think it's not going to be bad this year, and then it is. Um, <laughs> but I, I like having seasons. I think it gives me something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, but there are some. I think after the like excitement of the new year hits, it's like, okay, I'm yeah. ready for winter to Which be. Which is over. like eight days after <laughs> winter <Yeah>. starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this year, it was the third snowiest. Of all time. In the is Twin Cities, true? I think. is. What? It was one of the snowies that I can ever remember, if not the snowiest. I was keeping up with, with some, the some stats. stats. Yeah, yeah. Some stats, stats yeah. guy. Yeah, I think a lot of people who just came here, they're like, what is, they're like, is this what I signed up for? Yeah. And it's like, well, not really. Like, this is a pretty standout here. Yeah. Right. But it wasn't as cold. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. So that was, I think, I would kind of rather it be a little more cold. Yeah. And not Pers- have to no, shovel Personally, to me, the thing that I hate the most about the winter is how dark it is. That's, is that it gets dark so early? That's what I think. It's, it's, yeah. like, very, it's still yeah, because it'll be bright. Yeah, right now. It, on a on a winter day, it's often like 
bright outside like during the day, but it gets dark too early. Yeah. You know, that's, I mean, that's also, I have a bone to pick with daylight savings time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the same thing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd like there, to bring some that places up. that like, I think we voted on in, in oh, Los Angeles, like did. whether yeah. they were going to get rid of it. So it might, but it, I, might be it still has to be like passed federally or whatever. I've heard that that's a thing. I don't yeah. think any like, most but i don't think you can actually pass it but yeah. it's yeah. interesting i would not be sad for even a moment yeah because like what case. i mean i guess it just rises later yeah mm-hmm. that's fine yeah i don't need it that early you know um you mentioned los angeles so what i mean i think there anyone listening to this probably has an idea in their head with the differences between mini or minnesota or minneapolis and los oh. angeles but anything yeah. that you can think of that might not be like the most obvious stuff oh, and in addition to that like what do you miss about where you came from L- la is so big that it's like we rarely left our neighborhood because it had every like or like the, or like the three or four adjoining neighborhoods you know like, right we stayed in a really small area <laughs> like i probably went to the beach twice yeah <laughs> living there for years so um yeah, it's very, I mean, you, you, I have, sometimes I like get into the perspective of like every city is kind of the same as far as like what I'm looking for, it offers X, Y, Z, and then you can get like into some particulars like, oh, we love the Minnesota Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. That's cool. But like, there's a basketball team. Okay. That's not. Okay. <laughs> LA is different. LA is different. I mean, You're it, right. It, it, LA has like either so much, those. but it's like, do you. I kind of was like, oh, do I need that much? Yeah, how much of that it can you much? consume? Right. There are very thing. cool things. Like, you're talking about, like, we can, you know, we had celebrities, like, walk their dog by our yeah, house. Yeah, I would like, make uh, burritos for Paul F. Tompkins. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's, like, a hot name for people. In podcasting, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I always knew his order. It was very nice. Very friendly. That sounds like an indie movie, by the way. Burritos <laughs> for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And, like, if you want... Not that I, like, do lots of shopping, but there's, like, yeah. like in-person shopping. You can go to any store, mm-hmm. and it's going to be, like, only in L.A. Yeah. Um, but I think at the end of the day, like, what I'm really looking for, I get out of both here and there. It's more back to the things I'm having a hard time with is making friends but I think again that's just like a general yeah. challenge people have when they're yeah it's not like adults. we a million friends in LA we, we had friends but yeah not, not a million friends yeah so but yeah that that's a challenge right I, for sure I think a lot of people think it's like a like everywhere that I have made videos for there's kind of that idea of like oh it's so hard to make friends out there oh but yeah I'm like, I'm it's like, hard it's as an just, adult it's, if yeah. you move somewhere pa- after like college or high school and you don't <laughs> You aren't going to school. Yeah. Especially like, if you're not, if you're working remotely. Right. Yeah. That's where, in my adulthood, I've met a majority of my new friends. And I think, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, moving's going to solve all my problems. <laughs> I'm going to get all these new friends in now this it's new just place turning I into moved therapy. to. <laughs> no, I think this is a good perspective for people no. to hear. <laughs> this is actually kind of what we're. Yeah. To, yeah. 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 Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because it's relatable. It's, you're, it's, no, it definitely this is. is. A, I, I thank you for sharing it, but it's not a unique yes. problem. You know <laughs> yes. what I mean? It's like, it's very relatable. Yeah. Because it is fun yeah. to be like, oh, this is what my new life will look like. But it's like very quickly, it turns into your thing. normal life. Yeah. Like not, yes, your location is different, but moving is not going to solve all your living problems. living here at least for half the year I'm more incentivized to go outside because it's not nice for the weather is beautiful half yeah. of it spring and summer there is something sure. to yeah. that right because like in LA I, hits, I didn't care gratitude it, it like comes alive yeah. it's yeah. like oh people are like oh my god like cool let's do this you know yeah. there is a noticeable energy change yeah. at a certain time of year and for yeah sure. like getting through the winter is I mean, I've lived here for 30 plus years and it's not I never look forward to it, but there are things that I do like look forward to about winter. Yeah. And sometimes, and honestly, sometimes it's just like, oh, this gives me an excuse to, you know, knock out some movies. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely a basketball uh, homebody. Or, you know, so I'm just, like, I'm fine with it. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's a, you know, that is a, a real thing that people would have anywhere, but yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Um, <laughs> 
is, You've turned it in. is no. there uh, like is there anything that has surprised you about mm. Minnesota about living here mm. anything where you're like huh or even yeah I guess more extra, extreme than that the grocery stores aren't that great here <laughs> oh wow we're, we're, I, that's my hot take dang yeah do you go to the the East Side Food Co-op by chance? I do love the co-ops. Okay. There's a lot of that's another thing I haven't yeah. touched on. There are many like worker-owned cooperative places in Minneapolis. I've yeah. noticed, and something that attracted me initially. Love the co-op. Okay. No, no shade to the co-op. Sometimes co you just need a you know a bare bones. A good standard. And like a Ralph's. I would say, uh, yeah, Ralph's. Yeah. Ralph's is yeah. a pretty good uh, yeah. a pretty good one as far as the normal grocery stores go i would say that uh cub is not no yeah, <laughs> yeah. cub is it's uh, pretty bad <laughs> but it's for fall shops <laughs> <laughs> it's not good it's just <laughs> but, but also yeah we're vegan so we have yeah. like right that is true yeah but there are places we've we've always been fine with the, the no and there's this is a long goes. grocery store i know uh, i know yeah. but it is it oh is i could riff on gro grocery yeah. stores for way too we long we have a grocery store a, a quick hitter yeah grocery store uh, yeah do you have a favorite grocery store Probably Eastside Co-op. Yeah. Um, Co-op like, in general. Yeah, I don't know. And I, then Trader we, Joe's. Yeah. 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 It's uh, similar to Ralph, like Hy-Vee. But there's hy -Vee, there's not Hy-Vee's particularly close to you. I went to Hy-Vee uh, once, yeah. and I it like felt like yeah. I was kind of like in a Costco. It's pretty big, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I have... Lunds Byerly's? Ah. Kowalski's? Yeah. Overpriced. Overpriced. Okay. Well, so we... We're shopping at Whole Foods because I had a 20% discount. Sure. Um, uh, so th there's my giveaway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so we were we mostly were, we shopping there. I mean, Whole Foods was decent for 20% off. Like, it's better prices. than. But, yeah, I don't think we'll mostly go there anymore. Yeah. I've never been to Fresh Time. Sure. I think Fresh Time is, well, it might be, yeah. It's it's not all that different from Trader Joe's. than Whole Foods. I don't think so. Okay. So, yeah. I'll have to It's go. probably a slightly more expensive, <laughs> slightly, like, shinier version of Trader Joe's. Okay. But, yeah, okay. That's enough grocery yeah. store <laughs> yep. I think uh, we covered them all. So. What, yeah, yeah. What surprised you? Yeah, anything else? That um, surprised, surprised me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything jumping out to me right now. Yeah, fair enough. That's fair. That's good, uh, I would say. I would, one yeah. thing that I've noticed, uh, just like talking with like random people at work and stuff, and this is like, I, more people yeah, have similar taste in music to me here than I've uh, okay. been. Oh. Uh, than it I've might be too niche. I don't know. I don't know, it's just something I've noticed. I think that's fair. I don't, it's cool. Well, yeah. Something. Okay. I'd be pleasantly surprised <clears throat> if I found that out moving somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I mean that's pretty cool. I guess I also like the public radio NPR. Oh, yeah. I think ah. that's really cool. You to the, current. the current, yeah. I think we talked about this. We did we talk were, about yeah. it when we were house did hunting. Did you listen to it before you came here, or did you no. just? Uh, no, I just like public radio, and that's pretty good here. Um, I don't think they do that rock the garden anymore, but I thought that was neat as a concept. In a couple of years, really awesome events. I'm not. Yeah, I, I can't remember the last time they did it. It might have been a COVID thing when it stopped, and it mm -hmm. just didn't come back. But yeah, yeah I think last year was cool. the last one. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Like decidedly, they were like, "This is the last one we're doing." I believe so. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Far out. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> um, have you experienced much of the Twin Cities since you've moved here, other than obviously your corner of Minneapolis? Um. We, we or Minnesota, like, or Minnesota in general. This past weekend, oh, we yeah. went to a nature center. Car Carpenter Nature Center. I don't know. It's, it's in, in Hastings. Hastings or something. Oh, okay. okay. It's where the Saint Croix and Mississippi, Mississippi meet, River yeah. meet. So there's like hiking and stuff. It was pretty cool. That was cool. It's a beautiful um, area over there. Yeah. Yeah, we've been to Saint Paul's, um, you know. Yeah. We've been to the Palace Theater. <laughs> um, that's basically and high. out to eat in St. Paul a little eat. bit and then we've mostly I think <laughs> outside of Northeast we've probably spent <clears throat> a little bit of time in like uptown and then um, like whatever like mini haha -ha mile long, kind of I like going like vintage shopping and then um, plant shopping is another thing we've kind of like indoor plants Yep. We go to different nurseries or indoor plant stores. Like That's like what we do. Go yep. out to eat <clears throat> and then 
yeah i want to i want to do more <laughs> i mean we, we just, well no yeah. I, I just mean like <laughs> bike riding that's what i would yeah. like to do more of that's fair yeah yeah because there's like just outdoor so much stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta pump our tires yeah. up first. Maybe find a winter sport. <laughs> yeah. We were about to go to the fair on our bikes last oh, year, and year. we hadn't ridden them for like a month, <laughs> and it, we don't, we just got them maybe two months prior, and we didn't have a pump, and we got on them. I was like, oh no, yeah, yeah, we had to we're, turn around. We're not, <laughs> well, we're not gonna make it all the way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did go to the fair. We did go to the state, but fair. we went really early. Just to avoid 7 a.m. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of nice. I didn't even know they opened that early, <laughs> on, to be honest. Yeah. I, I, we went in like the, what, the butterfly room thing. Oh, he loved that. Nice. That was like my girlfriend. It's cool. She's like, it this was, is it the was best very thing early, I've ever done. so like not that many people were there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What and is the, this? I've, I've been to the fair. But <laughs> butterfly <laughs> room in the fair. It's like just like butterflies it's just flying around, the butterflies. around they like landing on you. They land on you. And monarchs or all kinds? No, I don't think it's monarchs. I don't think they're monarchs. But there's. Yeah, they have a all kinds of not monarchs. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't think it was monarchs. That's Gen- the general thing that I. Yeah. Uh, uh, they might have been like, it's like a rescue or something. Oh like butterfly rescue. I have butterfly I really, conserve. I don't know. I really don't know. They do I something good for butterflies. I, would not I think. Say any of this? I don't know if that's true. Um, I would assume that they <laughs> care for the butterflies. Sure. But sure. I don't. They're know. not breeding them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They might be. I don't know. They might be. Um. State Fair's fun, though. That's a good cool. time. And, and, and the corn song had just come out. So. Oh, oh that the, could, yeah. Yeah, I thought you meant the band corn. No. Uh, <laughs> that yeah, would, you don't, that yeah, would be yeah, good, yeah. too. But. You don't know their exact release dates for all their new songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a cool day. Uh, <laughs> the any, any, like, just favorite... You've mentioned a couple of restaurants, and, but, like, yeah. any just, like, favorites? Any, you know, recommendations? Um, another any, restaurant. Reverie. Reverie. It's gonna be um, all the vegan also a vegan restaurant. That's great. Yeah, um, oh, that's good. We like high high. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. The, our old shop used high. to be like a block nice. from there. Yeah. Um, tongue in cheek we in St. Paul is yeah. where we just ate last weekend. They have like a rotating um, vegan dish. You know so what area yeah, I have fun. not really explored is um, like where Alma is. Mm. Yeah. I guess it's kind of really Marcy close. Holmes. It's just down the street. Yeah, yeah. like River. Yeah. Is it the, the River Anthony Place Maine. or whatever? Is yeah, they, River yeah. Place is like a building over We've there. We've never gone over there, and I think there are some good restaurants. And I, was, I just went to Fragment such. Coffee this morning right over there. That place looks really cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Very cool space. Uh, yeah, that, that's People a beautiful... Astor Cafe. Have you heard of that? I have heard... Uh, yeah, it's on my list. Yeah. Very cool. that, yeah. That whole... I mean, that's like one of the most beautiful spots in yeah. Minneapolis proper, mm-hmm. I would say. And so easy for y'all to bike there, too. Yeah. 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 It's, there's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've yeah. only been here a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. time. Yeah. Momo Sushi. We go there uh, Momo, often, yeah. too. Didn't you go there the other day? Yeah, we went there after the meetup. Yeah. 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 Sarah loves that place. Yeah. It's pretty good. A yeah. lot, yeah. lot of vegetarian rolls. Other places that you like? Um, uh, oh, Argata, Argata Records, yeah. which is technically... That's in, in St. Anthony Park. Yeah. Um, St. Paul. I really like oh, it there. I think we were right by that when we were shooting. It's right, I don't know the name, but yeah. We, it's yeah. like right on a corner um, yeah. of mm-hmm. a building. I don't know. It's kind of a... <laughs> well, it's like the door is on the corner. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like literally a <laughs> corner yeah. door. So if it was there, you, that would be... I don't yeah. know. It's really... It's I really, think yeah. we walked past it in the video. Okay. I think so. But we are all... We're talking. It's like yeah. there's there's a vintage store right there. There's a scooter it. gang vintage yeah. and then like a tattoo shop and some other things nearby. Um, but I like, like the record our, store. The, the record we store that to, we found that we like the most? Yeah. We used to spend more time at Sociable Cider Works yeah. because... But that was because Francis was there. Because they had the food truck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, we, it's, it's cool, but I'm not... Uh, I like it. I'm they have a lot of... I'm more of a wine at home person. They so. do like pop up markets and stuff <clears throat> there which i like we were there for art at world and yeah they had mm-hmm. a bunch of tents and stuff yeah very cool cool uh i think the last question on this is if, if there, and maybe you don't have an answer but if you were going to move anywhere else in the twin cities where oh. would you move now that you're a bit more familiar if i was rich sure <laughs> yeah. if you're just like had unlimited money you just live on some lake yeah it would definitely be like Right on the lakes. I bought a bu- my bike. From Chain of Lakes, Persons. Minneapolis, or like Minnetonka. 
Uh, probably, probably Minneapolis. Yeah, so. Minneapolis. Like a There's Bodama like Costa. Brownie right? something. Or like a, Didn't I tell you this? There was like a specific spot where I was like, oh, this would be great. In between, too. That might have been like Harriet? Well, I think Brownie Lake. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Oh, yeah. it's actual lake. See? Well, it's, you know, I mean, it's little. But yeah, I think Brownie Lake is um, bu- like south of Cedar Lake. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Or like west of Cedar Lake. It's a small lake that is sort of ties... <laughs> I don't know why it's uh yeah. I think I drove by it and I was like this is a nice spot a really cool oh, area um, just south of Theodore Worth yes okay so it's like yeah it's just north of Cedar I live like right I live in like Cedar Isles Dean which is yeah. like very close to that Whole Foods and all that and yeah it's cool over there but there's a little tiny lake but homes over there are beautiful right it's a yeah. cool cool area um, there are also a lot of uh I mean near us and St. Anthony there are a lot of nice you know ramblers uh very cool mid century yeah. stuff. A little yeah, bit higher like, uh, price range, but like yeah. to have the exact same feel that we have in a bigger. But we don't need a bigger house. Bigger yard? We could use a bigger yard, but we're not moving anytime <laughs> yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if, yeah, if, if, if there was no friction at all to do it, I think yeah. it's cool to know that those yeah. are some areas. Yeah. They're like where we are, but. Or like, I don't know. It'd be nice to live in like north loop area or where did we say? i guess if, we, if we were to ever uh like where we are now yeah if we were to ever not have a home like a if we did a condo a home, or like, yeah if, if we wanted to keep do a, a condo or apartment yeah. lifestyle i think we would do like maybe around here and yeah like northeast like yeah yeah, it'd be cool, you know. yeah, right here would yeah. be a cool spot to live. The Cobalt right. Building right above my beloved Lunds Byerly is, there's <laughs> like a set, they're, they're like their own entrance. Like you could, in the oh. winter, you could just go down there in your slippers. Oh. And, that's nice. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, into a Lunds and Byerly. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Could you imagine anything better? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Those are Ralph's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, okay, with that said, I think we're going to move into... A thing that we're going to try, which is basically called How Minnesotan Are You? Oh, oh okay. I'm going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is no fail. There is no fail. It's no, a, it's, I'm, no, it's a yeah. value neutral okay. question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw these out as kind of as quick as possible. And I'm curious to just hear your thoughts. Some of them are going to be yes, no. Some of them are going to be more no, You likely. have an answer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have been to the State Fair. Yes. Yeah. Have you been there more than one time in a season? No. no. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been there for anything other than the state fair? The fairgrounds for uh, oh, a car okay. show or a comic book convention or no? An equestrian event of some sort. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you ever have you had a hot dish yet? We, we've, I make we've made our hot own. Dish. So yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Check that one. That but counts. it's vegan. Actually, I don't we know. have had we've that had counts. hot dish as well. <laughs> that counts. Yeah. Have we had? Oh, at. Uh, Herbie's fried chicken. Her Herbie butchers. Herbie, oh. I don't right? know if it's yeah. Herbie. Her, okay. I don't know. It's go. like a river's butcher, yeah. but they have a fried next, chicken place. Next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're name dropping all the vegans. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That, oh, yeah. I'm happy about that. We're looking have for, for, uh, we're Zombies, looking for uh, a sponsor for this We podcast. have. Yeah, we <laughs> should have. <laughs> we yeah. ate there when we did our recon trip. Yeah, so. and they bought J.S.L.B.'s. I don't know if you know that. I was They're just telling you. Yeah, we were wondering what was happening there. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. So okay, have you have you have you ever been to the city of Brainerd? No. no. Okay. But where is that? <laughs> up north. Have okay. you ever been up north? No, I'm okay. so sad about it. Okay. Follow up question to the Brainerd one: Do you know what Marge Gunderson's husband was painting in the movie Fargo? I haven't seen Fargo. I I watched. Uh, I I fell asleep. I but this was back in my. That's fair. Sleep College, sleepy yeah. days. I, don't, I <laughs> fall asleep stressed. easily. He was, during, he was yeah. really stressed. I was packing that day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were, yeah, so I ne- we never You're finished. You're creating it. a to do list for us. Watch. Fargo. I know it's. I know. I know it's good. Had you have any any um any particular sense of pride about the movie Fargo? The <laughs> I'm gonna say or since any, we haven't watched it, no. Or, or the, Mighty Ducks. the Mighty Ducks. Uh, oh. I Jingle seen, all the way. I don't know if I've even seen Mighty Ducks. I mean, what? Juno, that's, that's a nice Kay. movie. I didn't even know it was so, so, so no sense of pride about it at this point. No. I Not think that yet. is a unique no, thing. No, the only Minnesota thing that thing. I, like, 
I do like some bands from here. Okay, ah, so. we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, mm, yeah. well, I haven't, uh, yeah, I yeah. don't have any questions about that. Oh. But, but you well. do have a sense of pride about, like, the likes of Husker Du, yeah? Yeah. The yeah. This is good, because we, we're workshopping this whole segment, so we're, we need new questions, too. So, yeah, music, re- I mean, I, there's, you know, endless amounts of music-related questions having to do with yeah. Minnesota bands, but tell us some of your faves, if you haven't. I mean... Uh, so I guess yeah, who's going to the replacements? The whole study, I guess, technically aren't from we here, but like Lifter Polar. We're going to see at the State Fair. Oh, they are playing at the State Fair. Year. Oh, rock nice. cool. So that's yeah. so those it's would be the big ones. Fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, I mean, Prince is cool. Sure. Yeah, Prince is cool. <laughs> I like cool. Prince. I'm you know hot take, not that big into Bob Dylan. Um, oh. Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> yeah. like, He's not that into Minnesota. That? I feel well, yeah. Like. yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but, but there's still a big mural. That's true. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he. Minnesota's into him. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how into. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. How do you pronounce uh, the word that is what you put your groceries into? Bag? Oh, oh, bag. Okay. Yeah. Not. Okay. What do you say? Bag. I, I say bag. It's, it's like bag. I say bag, but I that say is bag. But I don't know if that's Minnesotan. Yeah, that right. actually subtracts from my Minnesotan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, bag it would be bag. the Minnesotan bag. pronunciation. Can you can you pronounce these words for me? Golden Gopher Hockey. Golden Gopher Hockey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think we're gonna have any. <laughs> it's just be Golden Gopher Hockey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you ever have you ever driven on a lake? On. Oh, like an ice? No. Oh okay. no! I don't think yeah. I. I don't think I have that in me. One day you'll see enough <laughs> people do it, and you'll go, "Okay, I could do that." Maybe not. I think so. <laughs> Give it time. Uh, have you ever scraped snow off your car with your bare hand? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever used a credit card for to get the ice off? No. Have you ever used anything other than a scraper to get the ice off, or fingernails? Um. So we have a garage, so <laughs> a lot of the times it's not too much of an issue. It's more just. I feel like we haven't run into ice too much, as much as like snow. If That's it good. Comes down. Yeah, I think just hand and Kay. scraper. That's good. Um, have you have you found yourself saying "ope"? Ope. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, but I feel like maybe like I feel like is that just Minnesota? Yeah. Or is it, None of these are really just Minnesota. Like but Midwest they do or they do or add we're up trying to, to be. They yeah, represent. To paint it. I know people say it, but I'm like, I feel like maybe I've said it. Okay. But I feel like I'm inclined I'm not tra- to say it more now. Sure. I think people from other places say, oh, but yeah. I think you're more likely to run into it here mm-hmm. when you run into somebody, probably. Uh, have you ever been to a meat raffle? Heck no. <laughs> yeah, <you're vegan. laughs> I feel like uh, Urban Rivers Butcher meat raffle. They should. That's actually yeah. a really good idea. Yeah, an Urban Rivers Butcher meat raffle uh, at like a VFW. I don't know what is it. What is, do they sell? They raffle, they raffle, raffle off meat, meat, meat yeah. at a bar. Yeah. Do you know oh, what a bar. VFW yeah. is? <laughs> Oh, you don't know what a VFW is? Veterans of Foreign Wars. I do. I do. I'm just curious out. if yeah. you do. Oh. <laughs> You're like, no. Maybe a non-meat related one that's kind of in the same neighborhood <laughs> there is um, ever played a charitable, ever gambled for a charitable cause at a bar? Interesting. That's a big no. thing. No. Okay. I've never like gambled. Have you, so yeah, okay. One of the questions is, have you ever used pull tabs? We're trying to go to Treasure Island, though. Whoa. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> You'll get there someday. Yeah. Well, we have uh, some expiring, uh, you know, the wheel they have at Target Center. I don't know. This is we, very we've got some <laughs> slot plays, specific. you know. Sure. Ah. $100, I think. That's not bad. That and, could, that and could quickly and, turn into zero dollars. But, but, <laughs> but we have gas to get us there. It's like a $25 we gas We have, like, gift, gift cards for everything, <laughs> so we're going to make I a love day that. of it. You yeah. definitely should. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Have, have you, I don't know if this is that Minnesotan, but have you ever left an event early specifically to beat traffic? Yes. I mean, basketball. Okay. You're like all the time basketball? Yeah, because yeah. well, I work to, work to in the past work. tense um, very early in the morning, yeah. so I'd be like, um, this game's pretty over, let's go. That's fair. I mean, I don't like to admit that necessarily, but hmm. it's not a true fan's take. Yeah, stick but. it out to the bitter end. Sometimes I do we think try. it's a season ticket holder take of yeah. like, look, I'm here. Oh, I'm yeah, back. I'm I think back it's on Wednesday. It's I don't. Yeah. On the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you comfortable with what happens on Wednesday at 1 p.m. the first Wednesday of every month at 1 p.m.? He probably doesn't even I don't know. Hear it. Really? 
I I hear because I'm at home. I'm in it. Well, I'm in the kitchen. Never at home. So You'll get like, used to it. Yeah. 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 Interesting. I know. Okay. You know. And it, I'm like, it no okay. longer you're no longer like what? I think the very first time I was like, what is happening? Yeah. And now I'm like, okay. Okay. I feel like I we had seen happened. something about it. Before, it happened at yeah. a different time recently. A sure. test, and I was like, "Oh, what's going on?" That now it's um, in Japan. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like whatever. I think it's ex- only happened once. Extreme weather month or week or something. like That's that. That's what it was. Awareness yeah. week or something. I yep. think it only like actually went off once due to weather since we've been here. That could be a question. Have you experienced a tornado? Or well, it's a tornado? not as like Twin Cities as much as it is. Like, yeah, but it adds. Oh, that's fair. That's, yeah, I mean it's yeah that's true. It does add to the Minnesotan experience. Yeah. yeah, I did when I was a kid. Have you ever but, hidden in your basement? Yeah, during, but, yeah. yeah, we did at our new. House. She didn't it's think it was traumatic. necessary. It was pretty I bad. The si- those there. sirens were going. Yeah. I mean, that means something, right? Yeah. I don't know. Somebody flipped the switch. I mean, yeah, experiencing maybe. a hailstorm. Also, like not super specific, but not everywhere. Yeah. Hail. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a salad with no greens or potatoes in it? What, what would that entail? <laughs> uh, Snickers bar, marshmallows. Uh, what else? I mean, there's Jello salads. Yeah. You have yeah. a Jello salad. Uh, no. Have you ever had a tuna pasta salad? Oh, pasta salad. Okay. Okay. But, but I've you're had saying pasta with, salad. With tuna with and no greens. Instead? Uh, or just tuna mixed with pasta salad. Yeah, okay. just I mean, like pasta and tuna noodle salad. I mean, I've, I've had pasta salad and like whatnot, okay. but. Oh, I, I don't know salad. about anything. I, I was, gonna, no I was gonna say, oh, what's a potato salad? <laughs> 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 I'm more intrigued about the Snickers. Yeah, that's a thing. Situation. Oh, yeah. What is that? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. Does it have a name? But like, it's basically a dessert salad. Yeah, like a. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I don't. I'm, 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 I'm not very interested in that. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, have you, uh, what do you call the game with bean bags? That oh, you cornhole? Throw? Oh, cornhole? Okay. What do you, <laughs> you're North, I'm, North yeah, Carolinans I'm, coming I'm out. I'm a little bit from the South. Um, That's right. so, yeah. A little bit. What do you call it? Uh, well, I call it cornhole, really, but it's also called bags. Bags? Is that the Minnesota what? Yeah. version? Yeah. Okay. okay. Really, it's called bags here, but yeah. it's corn. you want to play bags? Uh, and then, do you have any strong opinions about caribou coffee one way or the other? Don't like it. I don't think it's good. Mm. Okay. I do think just having an opinion on it, though, is somewhat Minnesotan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's just because it's right by where. Yeah, it's I like work. everywhere. So you're like, I, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, it's probably the worst of all the chain <laughs> coffee places, wow. I gotta say. I but, had it growing up in Maryland, and uh-huh. I remember when we moved here, I was like, oh, look, it's caribou coffee. He had no idea. And I think I was excited, and then. Yeah. That went away quickly. Well, there goes that sponsorship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You can still sponsor them. <laughs> I think I've, I've spent money there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's good for that. Uh, with that said, sort of wrapping up, do you have any parting wisdom for anybody who is in your situation of mm. trying to move to the Twin Cities? Do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I would just say be realistic about how you feel about winter. Yes. Mm. Um, Cause, like really uh, consider that. Yeah, like it's cold. It's yeah. like so cold. Mm-hmm. But like, I it, for me, I'm like it doesn't matter as much if if you're not willing to like, maybe either hunker down or you know embrace it. It might be it's one or the other, but you got to be able to do. Yeah, I don't think anywhere's perfect. Um, but that is winter is. We were saying the other day, like, oh, if winter wasn't so bad here, I think like a lot more people would probably live in Minneapolis yeah. or the Twin Cities. Um, so, yeah, winter. That's what keeps it affordable. And if you're gonna is, move yeah. here, buy lots of layers and be prepared for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think I think preparedness like does play a pretty big role in like how comfortable you are, you know. But yeah, yeah it's still it's still it's cold, you know. It's still gonna like you can. Put on layers, and but you're still probably gonna, you know, feel cold. You yeah. know, it's pretty inescapable. But okay, I, that's that's a good one, honestly. Just like totally, yeah. be realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, but it's very nice in the summer. <laughs> yeah. And nicer than people say if you like read forums and whatnot. I feel like people from here think it's really hot, and it's not as it's not very hot. Yeah. It's like, like we get some. Yeah. Really hot, really humid days, but, but it's, it's so few compared to Yeah, like generally. Yeah. 
we've actually helped people who have moved here from places where they're like it is just too hot where i'm from. yeah yeah florida is, yeah. florida's a big one where they're like uh, i yeah. can't even go out in the summer maryland yeah. is so humid oh it's, yeah i mean it's not it's not yeah. super hot but it's like humid. it is humid yeah. it's very humid all the time yeah and yeah. look at us just minnesotans talking about the weather yeah, yeah. hey <laughs> that's perfect cool <laughs> well thank you very much for doing this yeah thanks so much thanks for, joining for us, you being guys. our first really guest appreciate it's that it's an honor thank, oh. thank, thank you for having us <laughs> thank you. it was fun yeah very fun and yeah subscribe to the channel i like how you're uh closing it out with you drinking the because <laughs> you definitely did that <laughs> in the opening shot <laughs> <Yeah. Exactly. laughs> it's a work in progress <laughs> <laughs> it's a free-flowing conversation yeah yeah worry about it. cool we're good thank you for watching cool. see you in the next one subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified Say hey in the comments. Fade to black. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that.